I mean, I feel, I guess the theme that I feel is just uh, a sense of the journey. I mean, for each artist, I I really do get the sense that some, you know, we've kind of found our voice in this way through through this journey through the green belt. So I would say that would be the cohesive uh, thing that runs through. Has your idea of the green belt changed in any way since you began this journey? Yeah, definitely, because, um, I mean, I'm not from Ontario, and I just moved here uh, in January, so to be quite honest, I didn't know that Greenbelt existed until I was asked to be a part of the project, so definitely it was a, a big eye-opener, and I think, um, you know, an excellent way for me to explore the landscape and to get a better understanding of what is around me, you know, the surrounding areas of Toronto. So... You brought some guests tonight that you met along your journey. Yes. Uh, how does it feel to see them here tonight interacting with your work and, and seeing themselves, you know, big? <laughs> right. Well, I think for me, um, the when I first, because today was the first day I saw the work, that when I saw the scale of the work, and um, I mean, it changes your relationship to the work from the process where I'm interacting with the individual and then walking through and seeing the final product. Then to see the participants um, was pretty overwhelming, actually. I'm a bit sentimental about these things, but I, I was really um, honored and humbled by their presence here. And I could, I mean, it was their, it was their strength that attracted me to them. Um, and when they were here, it was just sort of uh, this really, I, I guess, amazing sense of completion for me for the project that when a participant in the work um, can engage with it as a general public does, um, I, feel, I feel really, yeah, I guess I feel quite honored about that. Well, you must feel so attached to each photograph too because each, each photograph is, is a life, essentially, you mm -hmm. know? So, how does it feel when you look at these photographs? Is it kind of more than just taking a picture of a landscape or, or an animal or, or something, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know because I'm not a landscape, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't photograph landscapes, so I'm sure that people who do have as much love and passion for what they're photographing as I do with um, individuals and with people and through portraiture. Um, I think that because I shoot with film and then I work through, my, my process is to scan the images and then meticulously dust each, like, each file so that they're digital, digitally output. Um, but because of that, there's a proximity. I mean, I'm, I'm so close to the individuals, even on a screen, that I kind of analyze every square inch of the image. And there's something about... Um, a sentimentality that I think happens while I'm photographing and in, an intuitive response to people and then when I'm scanning the work and I'm working on it you know digitally there's another sense of um, connection to the individuals and then when they're finally up there I think it's almost I mean I won't equate it to birth because I've never done it but it feels like there's something separate that exists and it's um, maybe a bit more distant for me at this stage um, but I think again having those participants here brought brought that back so it was really nice very nice now you're standing in front of George here was there any significance you know um, well um, George I had an immediate connection with George and um, George is also a mixed race. George is mixed race Jamaican Welsh, and uh, I'm East Indian Irish. So right away we were just speaking about our mixed race backgrounds, and he was one of those people that was so enthusiastic about life and and, and about uh, creative process and being a part of it that he just said, "I'm yours. <laughs> you know, uh, you have free reign, and I'm I'm willing to um, to work with you." And I think because of that willingness and that immediate trust that we, we sort of forged together that I think that it allowed for more experimentation and I'm actually kind of surprised with the work that he sort of came out I mean I'm really happy that the image sort of feels like there's a vulnerability to this man and 
and I guess that is what trust is when we had this you know it's, it's making yourself vulnerable and um, so I'm I guess I was really happy to see this you know this come come through